How much are we clipping right now? Oh, that's a lot of clipping. That's a lot of clipping. Sounds hard though. <laughs> I actually want to set up the B-cam today. Okay, so in the last video, we were checking out the ShaperBox 2 plugin, and honestly, multiple different instances of ShaperBox is on every single one of my beats recently. I just recently put on an 808 and it sounded amazing. But anyway, back to the point of the video, the people over at Cable Guys actually hit me up. They wanted to send me the complete Cable Guys bundle with all of their effects. And the coolest thing about that is they didn't even ask for a review. They just liked my content and said, here, we want to give you some stuff, so. Here you go. <laughs> that is the first time that's ever happened to me before. Usually it's like, can you review this plugin for us? We'll send it to you for free, which is cool. And I love doing that sort of thing. But here it was just like, they just wanted to be nice. And that's something that's kind of lost in this in this whole community. So today we are gonna be going over the complaint at complaint going over the complete cable guys bundle but not only that in the description down below you will find a link to my instagram where i'm currently running a giveaway sponsored by cable guys where they're giving away three copies of the drive shaper extension for the shaper box 2 bundle i do want to say that it's not the complete shaper box 2 bundle it is just the drive shaper but honestly it's their newest extension for that platform and it's very very versatile so if that is something that you would be interested in there will be a link down below in the description to my instagram and you can enter for the chance to win the drive shaper Extension. I haven't had Zevia in forever and this thing is amazing. I forgot why I drank it so much. It's so good. Soulful traps if you want to do anything like uh, some R&B or anything like that. This might work perfectly for uh, the plugins we want to use today. So I might actually just use this one. So it is in 80 BPM, which is also 160. It's just double time. Not four. The only reason why I don't want to use uh, C sharp minor is that it's very hard to like make a creative 808 pattern when it's in that low of a key. I like to hover around the at least D sharp to like G or something like around there. It's a little bit artifacty, but I think that using the um, the plugins from uh, Cable Guys might actually help out with that. So one thing that was included in the complete bundle that I did not already have was the uh, was the Filter Shaper 3. This is a complete standalone plugin, not a part of Shaper Box 2. Whole bunch of presets in the library right here. This right here, this is not a very complex thing. If anything, you can do it inside of any sort of EQ. But here, if you just want to automate this for like a, a drop or something like that, it would, it would come in real crazy once you actually drop in the low end. Some of them can go kind of crazy. Ooh, that's kind of strange, actually. What if we like decrease the, uh, the mix on that? We could like bring it in with automation and stuff like that and bring it out. I think it actually sounds pretty cool. And then obviously inside of the complete Cable Guys bundle, we do have Shaper Box 2, which I already had. I bought that one with my own personal money. So I keep playing with this. I don't know why I keep doing that. Honestly, the biggest sort of effect that this uh, plugin has is this right here. It's being able to go to like four bars or even like eight bars, make a full eight bar loop out of it. Let's go add some other effects. Let's go into Drive Shaper right here. Here I'll go into every two beats probably, two bars, sorry. This would be pretty good to give it some uh, some minor rhythm, nothing too crazy to every two bars, can be almost like a riser, and then dipping back down to nothing. Uh, go to Filter, I think a filter would be really good here. Also go down to two bars. Sure, why not, man? And then uh, basic pan, I always use. I just go over here and then decrease it so it's not as intense of an effect, but I still love the, the panning that it does. Also slow it down to like two bars, maybe even four. Nah, two. Another thing that was actually inside of this bundle is going to be a VST called Curve 2. And uh, if I go over here to the library once again, you can see there's a whole bunch of presets. And, uh, which one was I messing with before? Is it this one? It was not. I like that chord a lot. It's got a very long decay, so what I can do is go over here and then maybe just make like a, something like this, and then it'll ride out to the next, cor uh, the next chord. That's good, and then make it go down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. And then maybe like this even. This chord, eh. Then just do it like that maybe. Something very atmospheric. You know who uses like atmospheric beats a lot where it's like the melody is just kind of there, but their vocals and the drums take up a whole lot of space. It's going to be Russ. So I might try to do something like that here. That's good. I like that. That's really good. This is really strange though. I actually like it better if it was uh, like this. There's probably going to be so much low end here. All right, let's start on some drums now. I need like an <laughs> sort of kick, you know? It's like a very warm kick. 
Something like that? But I don't know if it's that one particularly. I think I kind of like that. That kick may change though. I'm still doing this though, I'm hitting two notes at the exact same time. It's not good. I swear, I love anything that's in like the F to F sharp uh, notes. I don't know why, it's, whenever I see that and I hear, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. But don't pick sound selection off of what note that you're in. You know, like a kick in 808 is one thing, but a snare is gonna be a snare no matter what. It's actually good. That flow is kind of strange, but I, this whole entire beat is strange, you know? I just think it kind of like suits it. And then right here, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. That, and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's maybe this one. I like that. That's like, that really low velocity one's pretty, pretty nice. I want some perks, man. Because the, the melodies are so just like open and uh, there's not anything too melodic here at all, <laughs> have some shine in the perks or anything like that. It's a couple of weird sounds where it's like, oh, that's nice, you know? Something like that. Like that, that's nice. Then right here also, two of them and then Alt U. It sounds like a Woody the Woodpecker. <laughs> and we can make it not sound like that by playing with the velocities a little bit. Ooh. Maybe. Nah, okay, I actually like it right here. There are certain times where um, the kicks and in certain instruments being predictable is actually a good thing. And here it lining up right here and not being in between like right there or anything like that, it's being right here. It's exactly what it needs. Yeah, cool. All right, but I think I am going to be changing out this kick. How much are we clipping right now? Oh, that's a lot of clipping. That's a lot of clipping. Sounds hard though. <laughs> the metronome's been on this whole time. Dude, I'm sorry. This must have been so annoying. Um, I have been putting on shaper box to uh, my 808s actually, and it's been turning out fire. So I'm gonna do that here too. It's so good, every single time that I hear it, it's just, ah, oh, it's so nice. And over here, something very minor. Pretty much the same thing, but not as intense, only down by that much. That's actually not bad. started playing it by channel and doing a little bit of arrangement. I don't know what this was. <laughs> and then for this part right here, make it unique and then hit Alt L. I want it to sound very, very full. I wanna do something a little bit special. Go grab the kick and then side chain it to the, uh, the pad. And I wanna do some volume pumping, which I think that I can just do inside of a pretty limiter right here onto compression. I want that like pumping effect. I love that this effect. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I do not want that pumping effect for the volume on the, uh, the hook though, so I'm actually gonna be taking it out with some automation. And that is going to be our loop, finally. Do we want to add any other sort of effects from uh, the bundle? I don't know, we'll see. Oh my, dude, I got a piece so freaking bad. The ZB goes straight through me. We'll try doing it for the, uh, the hi-hats, maybe. We'll go back to Filter Shaper. 
and tucks him a little bit more into the background while also giving him a little more focus. It's really weird to say. Okay, I'm, I'm speaking nonsense now. That didn't make any sense and I've really got to pee. So I'm gonna go and wrap this up now. <laughs> so the mix is definitely not done right now. I've not taken any sort of time to take off my headphones and fix the kick or the 808 or anything. So the beat here could change, which you're about to see. But once again, a huge thank you to the people over at Cable Guys for providing me this bundle. As well as I forgot to mention beforehand that I do have an affiliate link now because I'm now partnered with Cable Guys. There'll be a link in the description if you go pick up any of these plugins. Sorry if I'm rushing through this, I really gotta go peep. And again, there is that giveaway going on on my Instagram in the description down below. Running until Monday the 26th, and then the actual winner will be announced on the 28th. And I believe that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome to the simulation.